shrimp creole. It's one of my favorite dishes for the summer. You have all the nice sweet tomatoes and peppers from the garden. Start on like a medium high heat, nice heavy pot works well. So you have even heat and melt some butter. Then we'll start adding all of our vegetables, our Trinity, as we call it in Louisiana. That's your bell pepper, celery, and some onion. I like a sweet onion here. So the dahlias are in season right now. That's great to add in there. Salt is gonna help the vegetables release all of their liquid. We're gonna let the vegetables all saute down together. The flavors concentrate. And we're looking for the onion to become translucent before we add our next ingredients. So once you see your onions becoming a little translucent, it's time to add your tomato paste. Stir it to combine. I'm gonna saute for about two minutes, just until it kind of starts sticking to the bottom of the pan. Shrimp creole is very versatile. If you don't have shrimp, you can add crawfish as well. So once it's cooked down for about a minute and you'll see that it starts sticking to the bottom just a touch, you're gonna deglaze with your Worcestershire and your Tabasco. So when you're deglazing, you're gonna take that all that good stickiness from the bottom of the pan and it releases and adds back into your dish. One of my favorite tools in the kitchen is the microplane. Great to use on garlic or lemon zest. Next, you're gonna be adding your fresh tomatoes. I love this recipe during the summer when you have all those extra tomatoes all of a sudden and you don't know what to do with them. You're gonna let this just saute until you start to see the skin of the tomatoes peel back. It's time to add your stock. You could also use a vegetable stock as well. You're gonna bring it up to a simmer and let those flavors just come together again. you'll know that it's getting just about there. You can run your spoon through. And the sauce stays back for a second. So that's thickening up and all coming together. At this point, you just wanna add your shrimp. About five minutes and it'll be done and ready to come off the heat. You're looking for the shrimp to start to turn opaque. You'll see the sides start to peel back. So it's very important not to overcook your shrimp. The best way to tell when they're done is as soon as they turn opaque, turn off the heat and add your parsley and lemon zest. This dish is traditionally served over rice and it's a great one pot dinner you can make in about 30 minutes. Enjoy.